Hello friends, it's Manuraj here from Gadgetkada. In this video, I will be showing you how to install MIUI 10 in Redmi 4 and I will show you some of the features included with this update. So without further wasting any more time, let's get started. So okay guys, to get started, the version of the ROM is MIUI 10 8.7.2 So it is a beta ROM So there are quite a few changes that are introduced with this update So the first one is notification panel They have completely redesigned the notification panel to a new look And it looks pretty cool And we have a new brightness slider as well So coming to the next stage, they have completely redesigned the volume controls and you can expand it to see the additional settings and you can directly keep it in DND mode from the settings now. So the next change I have noticed is when you open up an app and close it, there is a small animation to the icon and previously it was in MIUI 9, it was a different kind of animation too, so they have changed the animation. If you check it closely you will be able to notice it so coming to the next stage they have completely changed the way which the recent apps menu look like and now it is completely different and you can if you want to dismiss an app you can either swipe right or swipe left So coming to the settings menu, I didn't notice some um, any changes in the settings menu. It looks exactly similar to what we have in MIUI 9. And there are like uh, some features like AI which is completely in Chinese. Since it is not a global ROM, some of the most of the stuffs are in Chinese. So coming to the next change, they have completely changed the way which the recent apps menu look like. And now it is completely different and you can, if you want to dismiss an app you can either swipe right or swipe left so coming to the another feature that i have noticed is car mode so this mode is still under development and they are yet to completely deploy it so once that is completely available you will be able to answer the calls easily and you will be able to play music and all those things or read out the sms and those kind of things will work flawlessly when once the app is completely launched So coming to the installation part, you will require a custom recovery like TWRP recovery. In TWRP recovery, you will have to first perform a factory reset and uh, you will have to wipe the cache partition. Then you can directly flash the zip file. So once the flashing is done, you can just go through the initial setup process to complete the installation. Okay guys, that's it for the video. It was just an initial walkthrough of MIUI 10 on Redmi 4. So I will be making a dedicated video of this soon. So until next time, bye-bye.